Hi, I'm going to show you how to sign up for a Gmail address. The way you sign up for Gmail is you go to Google's Gmail homepage and the address for that is uh, gmail.com. That's g-m-a-i-l.com. Uh, here we are at the Gmail sign-in page. You notice there's this link down here for sign up for Gmail. I'm going to go ahead and click that now. Okay, first step provider name. Second step is arguably the hardest one. You've got to actually pick an email address and there are lots of uh, Gmail users out there so it might take you a few seconds to get one that's good. I'm gonna try something that's part of my name. Those are usually easier for people to remember. Let's try College Man. We're gonna click this button that says check availability. Uh, see, it says Collegeman is not available because somebody else has it. Now, here it uh, gives us a number of suggestions. Uh, they're all based on the name that I gave at the beginning. Um, and you know what? This one looks really good. A college man. Now, you might not see one right here in this list that uh, you want to use. So what you can do is just click here in desired login name and change to something else like, I don't know. Let's try Juniper. Now that's taken two. See, it's given us some new suggestions, but you can use anything you like. I'm going to go back and use a collegeman. Next step is to choose a password. Notice that we're required to choose one that has at least eight characters in it. I'm going to go ahead and use my standard password. Notice as I'm typing my password, Google is kind of analyzing it here and telling me whether or not it's a good idea. See that one? This one is too short. So if I add some more characters, like so, now it's a strong password. I'm going to repeat my password here in the second box. Remembering me on this computer allows the Google website to remember who you are. So rather than having to use your username and password to sign in every time, uh, your computer will recognize you and automatically log you in. I don't like that option so much because it can be insecure even on a personal computer that's in your office. Somebody can sit down and sign in for you as if they were you. Uh, so I'm going to leave that unchecked. Uh, the web history option is a service that Google has where they actually monitor how you're using the web. It helps them to analyze how people use the web and it's completely optional. They keep all the data anonymous. so. I'm going to go ahead and opt in. You can choose whether or not you want to stay in. This next step is for choosing a security question. Now the security question is uh, what you're asked if you ever forget your password. Google will present one of these questions to you or you can create your own. I'm going to choose uh, what was your first phone number <clears throat> and I'm going to make something up. Can't have you all know what that is. Then you need to provide a secondary email address. Now the secondary email address is uh, used to help you get into your email account if you should forget your password and also forget your answer to your security question. So you should provide something that you have access to. If you don't have another email address, you don't have to provide it. I do have one, so I'm going to provide it now. <clears throat> this next step is of course location. That's pretty self-explanatory. The word verification is a way for Google to make sure that only human beings are signing up for Gmail accounts. There are a lot of bad programs out there that would like to sign up for Gmail accounts and this is Google's way of making sure that doesn't happen. So I've typed the word that was printed in the image right here. And the final step is agreeing to the Google Gmail Terms of Service. It's pretty basic stuff. You can read it if you like. I'm just going to go ahead and create the account. And that's it. Now I have a Google Mail account. I can click here. I'm ready. Show me my account. And it'll take me right into Gmail. And now you have a Gmail account. Now what's cool about having a Gmail account is it gives you a Google account username. Your Google account username is your Gmail email address. And the Google account username can get you into all kinds of services like Google Calendar, Google Documents, their photo services, 
Google's RSS reader, and a lot of other really cool things. So have some fun with your Google account and uh, check out our other tutorials where we show you what other cool things you can get into with it. Thanks for watching.